Since the start of the Amoka Ocean Masters New York to Barcelona race nine days ago, we have been following the boats avidly on the race tracker. The positions are updated every 15 minutes throughout the night and day, seven days a week. For those of us working on our laptops, following how the race unfolds is easy, just click on the tracker map. But how many times each day does the event team check it? Let's go and ask them. I think around 10 times. 10, 12. Like 15, 15 times. Yeah. Fifteen to twenty times per day. Volvemos well, minimo maximo vente. Just thirty times. And they even check it when they're in the restaurant and before they go to sleep. But the record lies with Jack Crez, the race director, whose job it is to keep a constant eye on the fleet. La cartographie sur mon ordinateur est ouverte quasiment 17 heures par 24 heures. We're even playing a game in which each person has placed their bet on the winning boat and its exact date and time of finish. The one who has guessed the closest will be declared the winner. From the racetrack, the videos sent in by the boats during the last few days have been spectacular as they cross the Atlantic at top speed. During this morning's radio vacation with the skippers, they talked about the tiredness that is catching up with them after 10 days at sea. Meanwhile, Hungary's Nando Far, who had to retire from the race, is now in Newport, where he is going to put his race boat, Spirit of Hungary, on a ship back to Europe. He sent us a small message this morning. Now our goal is uh, to prepare the boat and ourselves for the end of the year uh, for the Barcelona World Race, which is our next target. Uh, that is why we don't want to spend too much time here. And uh, uh, this is the only solution to, to be in the fleet. Uh, we can fly back to Barcelona uh, for the 20th of June uh, for the prize giving ceremony and for the press conference. Since yesterday afternoon, the boats have charged forward, all broad reaching along the Great Circle towards Gibraltar in a 15 to 20 knot southwesterly. They've been eating up the miles. This morning at 10 o'clock, it was Saffron, which had covered the biggest distance in the last 24 hours. 428 miles at an average speed of 17.3 knots. 75 miles behind them, Hugo Boss remains locked in battle with Team Neutrogena to hold on to second place. The boats are just 10 miles apart and going at the same speed at around 18 to 20 knots. Gaius is also moving forwards. This morning they were matching Saffron speed but were still 143 miles behind the French boat and 70 miles from Hugo Boss and Neutrogena. Over the last 24 hours the boats have been enjoying excellent downwind sailing conditions, surfing down waves as they speed towards Europe. But that will come to an end later today as they have to tackle the light winds of a high-pressure ridge on the approach to Portugal.